Sentry, go, go, down, uh, damn it, cut the blue deck gear. This thing came on an autopilot, damn it, cut the What the? <laughs> Brian, were you recording that? Sorry, Sege. I couldn't resist seeing you look like a jackass. You bastard. Greetings, comrades. This is Sergei Kilimov, and welcome to another H3 VR video. And, uh, yeah, for this video, I was originally going to do the engineer and, uh, medic only for this video, but, uh, after looking through them, the, uh, spawn menu is here. As I mentioned before, the engineer uses a pistol and shotgun like the other classes. The only real weapon he has is a wrench, and that's kind of an integral part for his, uh, little dispenser and sentry gun things here. And the medic, well, just as a series gun med gun. And I figured that'd be too short for a video, so I figured, you know what? We're going to throw the sniper and the spy in this video as well. As we're showing off the rest of the Meat Fortress 2 guns, and then after this, we're showing off the melee weapons, of course. You guys are little soul sick friends over there. And good thing I uh, chose to do this too, because uh, you can see Sniper has five different weapons. He has three rifles and two SMGs. And of course, a little flash grenade. The spy has his two revolvers, smoke grenade, and a few devices, cloaking watch and a sapper. Now, naturally, most of these are going to be useful in Meat Fortress 2, but uh, that's beside the point. So anyway, now, prior to making this clip, I never used these before, but they're pretty simple to use. All you do is to, uh, you know, throw the dispenser into the ground and it'll spawn it. And uh, the wrench, you probably wonder why I have this spawned already, well, I'll show you. So, here's the sentry gun. Now, as I mentioned, this is the only where it works in Meat Fortress 2. I tried it here, it just looks around, doesn't shoot the sosigs or anything. Would be nice if it did though, but... What was that? You have to shake it. There we go. So there's a little sentry. I'm not sure if you can upgrade it or not. I'm sure there's a way, I just haven't figured it out yet. I don't play Team Fortress that much, so I don't know how it works. So there's a sentry gun. We also have a dispenser. Just like this, now you just throw it in the ground. And there you go. Dispenser. You'll notice it's empty, but of course, you gotta whack out the wrench in order to fill it up. Like that. And of course, you have different options. You press that to, you know, turn to a health dispenser. You use that to restore ammo. You can use it to spawn another sentry. This one I haven't figured out yet. What does this do? Ah, it spawns these. What do these do? Oh, it's ammo for the uh, sentry guns. Okay, I notice it now. Well, doesn't really need ammo. But yeah, so that kind of is it. That's kind of it for the engineer. <laughs> like I said, uh, he uses a pistol and shotgun. I already showed those off. And uh, yeah, his only real weapon's a wrench, which uh, naturally uses a melee weapon. But of course, he also uses it to repair the uh, dispenser. And I tried using it on the sentry, but for some reason, it destroys the sentry. I thought it would like upgrade it, but no, it does not. Anyway, let's move on to the medic weapons. Toss that in there. <laughs> Oh, what the fart? Let's try it again. <laughs> try now. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Not sure what happened there. Not sure the, the wrench went boomerang on me. But anyway, let's show off the syringe gun. Now, this is the medic's um, primary means of offense. As you can tell, it's a gun that fires syringes. Let's pull this here. It's primed. You know, just in case you want to give someone a shot and they won't stay put, well, this is probably your best bet. Take that out. Put another one in. And there we 
we go. Well, I was hoping to heal the dispenser, but it doesn't need healing. There you go. Free shots for everyone. I'm not talking about vaccine shots. Here, hold that for me. Show off the next gun. The Medigun, which, uh, well, I'm short off. I literally mean just show it off, because this gun's useless in every mode except Meat Fortress 2, because, well, if you play Team Fortress 2, you know what this gun does. It's used to heal your allies and give them buffs. So naturally, it's not going to do anything. I'll be, it does do stuff. Though, uh, what it's doing to these soul sigs, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't play the medic that much, okay? Okay, so that does it for the medic. Now let's show off the sniper. Of course, he has his kukri. Also, have a little flash grenade. Haven't really showed this off. It's smaller than I thought, but, uh, it says an impact grenade. There you go. Just what it says on the tin. It's a flash grenade. Blinds enemies. And leaves them open. For a shot of the good old sniper rifle. Chambered in 18 by 50 millimeter pack of wallop. Which are, by the way, all three of these rifles are snag Sanga. And the last bit, all use the same ammo type. This little bad boy here. Though there are a few minor differences between the rifles. We'll get to that shortly. You can see we get this nice little scope here. I don't know why I'm something Australian. Well, the sniper's Australian, so I guess it makes sense. And yeah, only one, uh, only one round in the, uh, rifle here. No built-in magazine or anything. Though I do wonder, get this real quick. I wonder if it does that thing with, uh, Team Fortress 2. If you hold the trigger long enough, it'll actually, uh, shoot a power shot. No? Oh? I thought it did. Oh well. It still deals with these soul six pretty good. And you don't even need to use a scope because, well, he has a laser sight. Don't recall if it did in the uh, actual game though. Next up, the Nag Sanga. Kind of identical to that one. Similar body. It appears to be up iron sights, no scope. The laser sights on the bottom instead of on the top, but same deal though. You see, we actually have a built in magazine here. You can load, I believe, three rounds. Yeah, just three rounds in this one, but hey, it's more than one shot, which is more except for the other two. Of course, if you don't feel like using the iron sights, again, the laser sights there. So that's the Snag Sanga. And now, the last bit. And look at this little guy. Yeah. It's pretty much those guns there. Just, uh... Well, it's pretty a regular sniper rifle. You see, it's been chopped onto almost nothing. There's almost no barrel. You only have a rear sight. No front sight. And, uh... There's no trigger guard either. Yeah. Only one round. But hey... A good shot. That's one kill. And yeah, for good measure. Okay, so that's it for the sniper. And a clip I totally did not forget to record while making this a uh, video. Um, we're showing off the SMGs that the sniper uses. We got the regular SMG, of course, and the Bush Ranger's boom. Both chambered in 12 by 32 millimeter dingo wamper. And uh, I guess we'll show off the regular SMG first. Looks like a Walter MPK, doesn't it? With an absurdly long barrel. No stock. Does have a little uh, sling, though. Of course, there. At least it has a charging handle. Well, be safe for the other guns. And yeah. Basically, this is the sniper's uh, close-range weapon, when he's too close to use a sniper rifle. This is one of those Modern Warfare 2 quickscopers. There we go. Something like that. 
see, see, Sniper's not just about uh, long range engagements, he can handle his own in close quarters too, provided he has the right tool. And uh, we have the drum mag, which is sponsored with the Bush Ranger's boon, but it can be used in the regular SMG as well, since they're both <laughs> almost the same gun. I think it's rollable. We got the Bush Ranger's boon, nice little heat shield, got a little collapsible stock, and a little sling here instead of a you know, the handle of the gun. And as I mentioned, it spawns the drum magazine. Now, why does it have a larger magazine, you ask? Well, because it fires faster. Good thing too, if you use these clips, it'll burn through them just like two or three seconds. Yeah, those are the uh, snipers SMGs. Very nice, very nice. Nice little magazines too. And that's it for the uh, sniper's weapons, for real this time. Now, the spy. I actually only have two guns here. And uh, I might as well show this, I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to show it off. The Balisong, which is basically the uh, butterfly knife, the spy signature weapon. Yep, basically it starts folded. Yeah, you press the trigger to lock it. Press it to unlock it, flip it up. Press the trigger again, it's your knife. Very nice. Yeah, with practice you can do all those sorts of flipping around tricks with it. But uh, I guess we'll show off the smoke grenade real quick. It prints with haze that you would expect. Yep. Giant marshmallow balls. We have a cloaking watch. I wonder what this does. Then we have a sapper, which naturally can only use Team Fortress 2. I think you can use it against these guys. I don't use a spy though, so I don't know what it does. I'm sure someone in the comments will let me know. But let's get to the real fun. Revolver and the Petite Liaison. Both chambered in 366 Ultra Magnum. Interesting shape for these, uh... Bullet heads here, I must admit. Put it there. And, uh. Hmm. No cylinder release, but at least there's a hammer, so that's something. Which means. It can be single action and double action. I still find it funny that. Of all the weapons you give the spy, who's all about stealth and infiltration, they give him one of the loudest guns ever. Well, you know, it works. Unlike most of Bethesda's games on launch. There we go. And we'll keep that because Petite liaison, as I mentioned, uses the same ammo. Just a uh, shorter barrel, nice little finish on it, and uh, no hammer, which means it's uh, single action only. But it does the same thing. Yeah. No mac, no cylinder release on this one either. Though the uh, Handle's really good at catching brass. Yeah. Hmm. I know I still have my cloaking watch. And yeah, that about does it for this video, comrades. You know, just doing the engineer and medic will be like a five minute video. I want to get a little content on here, so you know. I thought I'd show off the uh, rest of the classes in the next video. Of course, will be the main weapons and just to give you a taste of what's to come. Hurry.
station. I'll just be over here now. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you look forward to the next one. Till then, that's what done ya.